Hey guys, what's up? It's Julia, and welcome back to Julia Art. Today, I'm going to be showing you guys how to make this miniature bunk bed. So to get started, I'm just using some wood pieces that I got at the craft store, but you can use cardboard or any kind of wood that you have around. So first, I'm going to start by making my bed template. So this is just going to be how big my two different bunks are going to be. Um, you can really make this any size that you want. So I'm just going to cut my template to the size that I want it and I'm going to trace that template onto my pieces of wood. So I'm going to do this on both of my pieces of wood. And then I'm going to just cut off the excess. Now I picked a pretty tough wood so this took a pretty long time so I suggest you try to pick a softer wood or a cardboard because this wood was very stubborn. So after I got both my pieces cut down to size, I'm just going to sand the edges that I cut to make them nice and smooth. Next, I'm going to make the bed posts. So I'm gonna start by kind of measuring out how long I want each post to be by kind of seeing how much space I want between each bunk. Then I'm going to cut out four of those posts in the same length. Then we're also going to sand these down as well so that it lays flat on the table when it's all done. Okay, next we're gonna bring our bed piece back and we're gonna get one of the posts and a pencil and just go around the corner of the post um, so that we have these little squares on the corner of our wood piece. Then I'm just going to cut these. Now this is where the bed posts are going to fit later so you want to try to make these little notches as even as possible. And try to make sure that the notches on both pieces of wood are fairly similar. Then I'm going to bring in this little canvas and this is just like how high up my bed is going to be. So then I'm just going to put glue in each of those corners and I'm going to stick my posts in those corners. Now you want a kind of fast drying glue in this because I had the problem of it kind of falling over um, or not really staying in place where I wanted it to. Um, so you just hold it in place for a while till it kind of sets a little bit. Um, if you let go of it too soon it might fall over and not look the way you want it to in the end. Then I'm going to just put some random stuff in the middle of this to hold up my next bunk. Then I'm going to put glue on each of these posts. Then I'm just going to slide my top bunk down in there and then again hold it together so that it has a chance to bond. And make sure that it's straight here. It can kind of get like a little twisted so that it's not completely straight. So make sure it's straight and then set it off to the side to dry. Next I'm going to be using this kind of foam that I had laying around. But you could use uh, a sponge or a cardboard or anything like that that you have laying around that would make a good mattress. So I'm just going to cut out two of these pieces because we need a mattress for the top and bottom bunk. So now that we have our two pieces, we're going to put those aside and we're going to get our fabric out. Now I feel like this is the particularly fun part because you can really choose any kind of fabric, any colors that you want to make it really fit the room that you're making. So I'm just going to start by putting some double sided tape. If you guys watch my channel, you know I really like double sided tape. So I'm going to put double sided tape on both ends of this foam thing. <laughs> I'm going to peel the tape off and just fold over the ends of the fabric. Now you could totally sew this, but I was feeling a little lazy and so I decided to just do tape. Um, but I show you later how you can do it with sewing. So now you're going to put double sided tape on top of the fabric on the ends. And this part was kind of, I don't know if this was completely necessary, but I just tucked the corners in first because I just feel that that makes the mattress look a lot neater in the end, the edges look a lot neater. Um, but if you don't really care about that, then you can totally just fold over the whole thing at one time. But now I'm going to be adding more tape in order to fold over the whole sides of this fabric. So 
So that is the first mattress and I just followed those exact same steps to make this second mattress. Okay, next we're going to be making the blanket. So for the top bunk I decided to go with this pink fabric so I'm just using my template from before, doubling the size um, with some seam allowance around the edge, cutting it out and folding it over, making sure that I put the good sides together. Then I'm going to sew around the whole thing except one side so that I can flip it inside out. A tip here is that you can use tweezers or pencil or something to push the corners out. Then you're going to sew the opening closed and I like the look of a turned over sheet so I'm just going to sew the edges over and I'm making a second duvet as well. Next we are on to pillows and I decided it would be really cute to have this little llama face on my pillow. Uh, unfortunately I sewed it together wrong in a few seconds here and so that didn't work but I'm just going to start by cutting it out and again put it good side to good side as you can see here I did not do that and so when I flipped it inside out the llama face ended up being on the inside but I'm just sewing around the edges again and I'm getting some of the foam from before and I'm using that to stuff my pillow. You can also use um, stuffing but I find that this is a lot easier because you don't have the stuff coming out at the sides. So I'm just sew this closed and make as many pillows as you want. Now after all that sewing my bed frame is dry so next we're going to be putting the railings on this bed. So I'm just measuring out how long each piece needs to be and then I'm gluing each piece on and I'm doing this all around on each side of the bed. Now on the last side, on the top part of the bunk, we need to have a space for our ladder to go. So I'm just going to be cutting and gluing a little skinny stick on to the side of the bed. I'm again putting something underneath to hold it up. Then I'm going to be doing the same thing and I'm going to be cutting the sticks to go on either side of this middle part. I hope that makes sense. <laughs> So I decided I wanted to have a bit more railing, so I took these skewers and cut pieces to go all along the tops of the railings we just made. I feel like this part is optional, I just wanted there to be a little bit more detail with some more railings, but it kind of took a while, but just be patient with it. Um, I honestly think that it turned out looking really good, so I think it was worth it. So after everything is dry, this is what it looks like. I think it turned out looking pretty good. So next we're going to be making the ladder. So I got this really thin um, coffee stir and I'm just going to be measuring the length from the opening on the top of the bunk to the bottom of the feet and I'm going to be cutting two of those pieces. Now I'm putting down some parchment paper, then I'm just measuring, drawing and cutting um, as many of the little hand grip slash foothold rungs of the ladder that I need and I'm just cutting all those out. I ended up using six for my ladder. So then I'm just going to be adding glue to the edges of both of the sides of my ladder and then I'm just placing the rungs inside. I suggest putting more glue on top of this after you're done just to make sure that's really secure. Then I'm setting that off to the side. Now it turns out that I did not actually use parchment paper so this was very hard to get off but if you do use parchment paper it should come off pretty easily. So now we are going to be making the bed. So I'm just going to be folding the bottom of the blanket underneath the mattress and placing it in the top of the bunk. Now since it's so small, I like to use the non-sharp side of my X-Acto knife to tuck in the blanket. And here are the pillows we made. These are little buttons that I got at the store. There's a little mermaid one and these little pink ones I just bought at the store. Then you're just going to do the same thing with the bottom bunk and you're going to put the pillows in that you made for the bottom bunk as well. Again, I really like using these little buttons um, to just add some detail and some fun to the front of the bed. So that is the whole bunk bed. You can paint this or do whatever you want to do with it, but I kind of liked it just like this. And here's how it looks with our ladder. 
So that is the end of this video. I really, really hope that you guys like this. If you want to see more videos from me in the future, you can subscribe down below. I want to thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you guys next time in my new video. Bye!